Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Justine Louise and thank you so much for joining me today. I'm actually going to be doing my Sephora VIB Rouge Sale Haul Part 1. <laughs> yes, there's that much stuff I need to do it in multiple parts. Um, I ordered online and then I also of course went in the store and then my husband decides because he bought a new car, why don't we go on a road trip to the States? I live in Canada, if you're not familiar with me, and Oregon of all places where there's no tax. So anyway, I didn't do too much shopping in Oregon just because I had already ordered from the sale previous, but anyway, I just got back. So I thought I would share with you guys some of the things that I bought, some of the things I'm unsure about, and I just kind of want to show you guys as soon as possible because I want to get your opinion and also maybe might be some ideas of um, for things for you guys to buy because I know the sale is on right now and ends on Monday so I wanted to get this up as soon as possible. Excuse me. So first things first, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Justine. I live in Canada and I post videos several times a week on beauty, lifestyle, travel. I kind of gear towards 40 plus just because that's my age bracket. Um, but of course, beauty is timeless, so anybody would be interested in beauty items, of course. So it's open for everybody, but I kind of target towards um, 40 plus people. So if that's something that interests you, please hit the subscribe button. And if you're already um, part of my group, then welcome back and I hope you enjoy today's video. So first things first, I am going to show you some of my items, but I want to first talk to you about my new hair. <laughs> uh, if you're not familiar with my channel, I normally have poker straight bob hair, and I've had that hairstyle for many, many years, um, well, since I met my husband, let's say, and he loves my hair like that, and I am just over blow drying it. I'm just so sick and tired of it, so I thought, um, maybe I'll just do a little bit of beachy waves and I know I have short hair so it's really difficult and I'm doing this with a flat iron um, so it's even more challenging so I thought maybe part of the sale I might invest in one of the T3 curling irons so I didn't know which one to buy and there's a whole long story with all different ones that came up and some were on sale some weren't so I'm actually going to do a video just on the curling irons because I ordered quite a few of them and I want to get your guys' opinion on which one you think I should keep. But I did receive one of them already. Um, not all my orders have arrived yet, but this one came and this is the one that has a clamp, which I think would be more user friendly for someone that's not used to a curling iron and who has short hair because I think the wand, um, I'm probably going to get burned. <laughs> I think that's more designed for longer hair, but I don't know. So anyway, this one I ended up buying because you can change the um, heads on it. Although I really don't think I'm going to be changing barrel sizes. This is, you know, just a passing fancy. I'm probably not going to be curling my hair much. And I know you're probably thinking, well, curling your hair takes just as long as blow drying, but it's just something different. Um, than blow I'm just so over blow drying my hair straight every day. So I'm trying this out for a little. And it's just so nice to shower at night, go to bed with my hair wet, and then wake up and it's a mess, but at least I can fix it with a curling iron, hopefully. So this is the one I got so far, but I'm pretty sure this one's gonna go back um, because then the one that I really, really wanted that was on sale did come back into stock, so I ordered that one. Um, it's the regular curling iron that you can't take the um, barrels off, but this one you can interchange. So. This one was much more expensive, so I think I'm going to take this one back. But I will do a video just on these irons because I have quite a few of them coming. So with my shopping, I ordered online, um, I think the Friday at 2 a.m. Yes, I'm one of those people uh, because things sell out so quickly. And there was a few things like those curling irons, for example, and some of them were on the sale page. So I wanted to order them right away. And I did that, so that order has come. I did go in the store and picked up a couple of things, so I'll be showing you those. And then when I went to Oregon, um, I did go in the Sephora there, because we were there on Monday, so I had the last day of the sale. But I was with my husband, and then we had to drive there, so he was sitting on a bench outside the door. So 
it's not the same as when you go to Sephora on your own. I just felt bad he's sitting outside. So I just did um, a few little, th I looked around at a couple things that we didn't have in Canada and in our store. So I'll tell you guys about those. So I don't know if you guys have been doing this, but looking at other people's videos of their wish lists. So I posted a wish list, I'll link up below of the things that I was planning to buy or was had on my radar. And of course that all went out the window as soon as I started watching other people's videos and then changed my mind. So honestly, my, my wish list changed hourly. And then of course, when you go in the store, there's those infamous impulse buys. So I do have a few of those and then a few of the things that I did say I was going to buy. So first things first, um, what I did say I was going to buy and I did is the Grande Lash, Lash Eye Serum um, for eyelash growth. So I've never tried this one. I currently use Lily Lash. I've been very happy with it, but my eyelashes have stopped growing. So I think my, my body's used to it. So I am going to use this one and I will do a picture and I'll do, give you guys a three month update so you guys can see if it's any good. I do have a little bit of Lily Lash left, so it'll probably be another two weeks before I start this, but this was a definite must and I'm glad I got it. Um, the next thing that was on my wish list and I said I was going to buy and I did is a clear eyebrow gel. I do like this one. This is the Anastasia and then there is also the Benefit one that I was also interested in but this was a couple of bucks cheaper so I thought I'll just go for the Anastasia and I love this one as well. So those are a couple of things that I said I was going to buy and I did. Now let's see where else do we go here. Um, one thing that I have always been on the lookout, if you're familiar with my channel, is a daytime eye cream. Um, I'm not necessarily looking to get rid of wrinkles. I'm in my mid-40s. I know I'm going to have wrinkles. But what I don't like is if it's all puckered and giving you... That? That's vertical lines. I do not like that. And I find so many eye creams. And I think it's when you get daytime eye creams that are deep puffing, I think they suck everything in and make your eyes um, really dry. So that tends to be a lot of the eye creams out there. But I've heard so many people talking about It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. So when I went in the store about a week or so before the sale and was scoping out what I was gonna get, I did get a sample of this and I've been using it for the last 10 days and I am really impressed. So I decided to take the plunge and I bought a full jar of it. So um, I'm definitely gonna use this. I've been really enjoying the sample and like I said, she gave me about 10 days worth and I've been using it every day and love it. It's like a blue gel. It has the slightest, slightest cooling effect, um, but it doesn't have that deep, it says it's deep puffing, but it doesn't dehydrate my eyes and make them all shriveled up, which is my biggest complaint. So I've really, really enjoyed the sample and I am gonna use the cream. Also from It Cosmetics, I actually ordered this from It Cosmetics directly because they also had a sale. It was a 20% off sale and I've been dying to use their Bye Bye Makeup um, Oil Balm Cleanser. I always use um, cleansing wipes and I just feel like it's probably not the most environmentally friendly thing to be throwing out a towelette every single day. So I've decided to switch over to a melting balm. And I have been using up samples that I've been receiving. As um, I've mentioned, I'm doing a sample use up challenge. And I technically am not supposed to be buying cleansers, but I don't have any more of this type where it removes your makeup. Um, so I took the plunge and I bought this one. I'm not crazy about ordering things directly from It Cosmetics. Um, somebody actually asked me um, if I wouldn't mind posting a video on online shopping from Canada because I do do a lot of online shopping from Canada and there are some companies I don't particularly like ordering from and some that I do and I think I'm going to do a separate video just on that but just in a nutshell with It Cosmetics you can't return things if they're opened or used. So I kind of defeats the purpose. So for me, I need to try the product first. So I always try and get a sample, whether it's Sephora or wherever. And then I kind of think, well, why don't I just buy it from Sephora? But this was 20% off and they had some extra samples and goodies and it was free shipping. So I thought I would give it a try, but it takes forever for them to ship, usually five days before they even ship the items. I live on the west coast of Canada and their base is east coast of Canada. I think it's Toronto or something. 
So it takes forever to get here and then if you want to return everything, it you have to pay for your shipping to go back and then it takes two weeks plus to get your money back. So it's a real pain and I wouldn't suggest it. So if you can get the items at Sephora, I would do that instead. Um, at that same sale, I also bought this um, brush. It's called the Superhero Brush and it's got like a um, eyeliner brush at one end. I don't know if you can see that. And then um, at the other end, it's a long brush and it's supposed to be a 10 in one brush, which really appealed to me because it has um, different snap so you can make it a shorter brush or a longer brush but yeah it's 10 in 1 but you can only use it once because you've used the color you can't change colors I, I do have one of those things where you can switch the color but technically you can only use it once so it's kind of misleading how it says it's 10 brushes in one um, it's okay I did order a few other brushes at the same time but when they arrived I didn't think they were that great I didn't use them but just looking at them I thought they were very similar to um, Real Techniques brushes, which are a quarter of the price, so I ended up sending them all back, including a big bronzing brush. It was like 50 bucks, and I don't know. I do enjoy a lot of the IT Cosmetics brushes, their face brushes, their foundation brush is amazing. Um, but I just didn't think this was worth the money. Um, I did keep this one, but the other ones I did send back. So anyway, these are a few things from IT Cosmetics, but I did order them from the website of IT Cosmetics, but they are available from Sephora. So the next thing I bought, um, if you're not familiar with my channel, you know I love Sunday Riley, and um, I use all their skincare products, the Luna, Good Jeans, um, those are the two that I use right now. And my stepdaughter, who is almost 28, she has a terrible acne problem. She doesn't live in Victoria, so I haven't seen her for a while. But she tells me over um, email and things like that that she's really struggling with acne. Now, I don't know what kind of acne it is, but she said she's been on, um, I can't remember if it was Accutane or Tetracycline, with no um, change. So the doctor thinks maybe it's hormonal, which is difficult to fix. So because I love Sunday Riley so much, I thought perhaps she might like their UFO line. And in the States, they had this gorgeous little kit that comes with the mask, um, the toner, and the UFO oil. So I am going to send this to her in hopes that it works to help clear up her acne. The poor thing, she says to me, I'm in my 20s and my skin is just horrible. And by the time this acne clears up, I'm heading into the wrinkle stage of skin. So she says, I will never go through life with perfect skin at any time. So that really broke my heart. So hopefully this works for her and I'll keep you guys posted to see if she has luck with it. And also on the topic of Sunday Riley, I did mention to you guys about the foundation and that I was very intrigued by it. Um, but I did see some reviews and people were slamming it and it wasn't good and all sorts of problems. So I just thought, okay, well that's good, then I don't want to bother trying it. Plus my Sephora store, um, I don't know if you guys have that, you find... I find at my local Sephora store, I know more about what's coming in and products than the ladies at the store do. I find that very strange. So they don't really keep up to date so it kind of makes me think they're just there because it's a job and they're not really interested in makeup. But anyway, that's a whole other topic. So when I went into Sephora a couple weeks ago, I asked about the Sunday Riley Foundation and I was told Canada isn't getting it. It'll probably be eight months. Um, etc etc and then the Sunday Riley Instagram says coming to Canada and the US so anyway when I went into the Sephora store at the sale they did have it and they actually had it in the store so rather than busting open a bottle of it and after I heard some bad reviews I thought I would just get a sample so they gave me a nice generous sample of the color 180 and I love it I'm actually going to do a separate video um, doing a full demo of the foundation, a test, a wear test, and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned in that. But I just wanted to show you guys I did end up getting the foundation. Even though this is kind of on my um, no-buy list because I do have lots of samples and I have quite a few foundations to get through. But I look at this one as it's kind of skincare too. <laughs> It's half skincare, half foundation. So um, I kind of snuck that one in. What can I say? Um, 
On the same topic of foundation, watching people's wish lists and recommendations, they just get you all pumped up about other products that weren't even on your radar. And one of them is La Mer Foundation. Everyone was like, if you're going to buy something from the Sephora sale, you've got to get the La Mer Foundation, which wasn't even on my radar, especially considering the price. So I thought because I'm going to the States, um, I could try an actual sample from the store. In Canada, we don't have it in the store and we don't have any department stores that carry it either. So when I went to the Oregon store, can you believe they don't sample out La Mer? They said La Mer doesn't want them sampling it out, which is so weird considering the price. They said, we want you to try it in the store, but I had a full face of makeup and my husband was sitting outside. So anyway, the rep was there from La Mer and she said, we don't normally do this, I probably shouldn't say this, but she said, we don't normally do it, but I will give you a sample. So she did give me a sample and even she had a hard time color matching me. She said, this color, it's the neutral, she said, isn't really the right match, but the natural was too pink. So technically there wasn't really a color that would work with me. And I notice a lot of YouTubers say they mix the color. Well, that's just not happening. I'm not buying two bottles of that, forget it. So I did buy, a, get a sample of this. I did try it once in the hotel and I wasn't impressed. But that being said, and this is a bit of a side note, my skin looked terrible while we were away. First of all, I was having um, an acne breakout and that I'm still not quite sure what was causing it. Again, that's because I'm using samples of things and I can't pinpoint what's causing it, but I was having active acne breakouts, but my skin just looked so dull, dehydrated and puckered and terrible. And then it clicked. I wasn't hydrated as much as I normally am. If you're not familiar with my channel, I always mention how much water I drink between three and five liters a day. Now, because we were on a road trip, I wasn't drinking as much because we couldn't. I couldn't go to the bathroom every 10 minutes. So I cut back my water intake significantly and I noticed a huge difference in my skin, even though I was using my really good skincare that I use all the time. So just keep a note of that. If you're noticing your skin looking a bit lackluster and dull and not as nice as it normally looks, up your water intake. Um, Cause I've been doubling up on water and now I've noticed my skin is starting to plump up again, kind of like a sponge. So anyway, um, I will give this another try, um, like I said, in the hotel. Plus, you have the air conditioning and heating systems, which are different in hotels and everything. So I will give it a proper try when my skin is back to its normal. But um, even if I was planning to buy this, it wouldn't be till the fall sale. I just want to add, too, everyone's just going nuts, myself included, for this Sephora sale. That's 15%. I mean, for me, that's just tax. <laughs> in where I live, my tax is 12%, so it's just saving a little bit more than the tax and we're just going bananas but it's fun isn't it <laughs> so another item that i bought um and i'm not really that impressed with is this Too faced natural face now if you saw my wish list this was on it as well as a couple of other face palettes there was quite a few um there's a smashbox one the nar um yeah the nars blush kit or a Marc Jacobs blush, but you'd only get one. And I opted for this one, now I'm kind of mad because I'm just not really loving it. I'm wearing it today. I might do a um, try on with you guys, but I, I just don't really like, I don't think it's that great. I find the colors really muddy. The packaging is outstanding. I love Too Faced, I love most of their products. But this, I just, I took it with me on my trip because I thought it would be perfect because it had bronzer, it had a ton of blushes and some highlights. The two highlights, the pink one, I will not wear. I used it once and it was just, I don't know how to explain how the, the highlight is. It's almost like it's a cream product because it doesn't blend very nicely and you can see exactly where you've placed it and it doesn't blend out. So I really don't like that type of highlighter. I prefer a more sheer wash kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury one, Becca ones, um, those two that I can think of, the Hourglass, but, but these are kind of like thick and they just don't move so it just once it sits there it's stuck there and you can see all the edges if that makes any sense. Um, so today I'm using this blush, it's supposed to be a bronzer but I used it as blush and I used this bronzer. 
Um, it's okay. I'm just, I don't want to return it because it's not faulty, but it's just not great. I'm just not that impressed. I wish I'd bought a different face palette. Um, another thing I want to mention that was annoying is I took it on my trip and our hotel room only had one mirror in the bathroom. So when hubby's showering and getting ready, I quickly go and do my makeup. And so I had to rely on a mirror I bought for myself. So I had to use this one and you prop it up, bang. So you had to find something to put behind it to hold it up. So it's not the best mirror, just so you know. So all in all, I'm not super happy with this, even though it has rave reviews. Um, it just wasn't that great for me. And speaking of bronzers, I'd mentioned in my um, wish list that I wanted to get the Marc Jacobs coconut one. It hasn't come out yet. Um, I was confused. I see so many release dates and things. I, for some reason, I thought it was coming out before the sale, but it's actually coming out after the sale. So well played, Mark. <laughs> So the next two things are impulse buys. Um, first one is lipstick. So one of them I'm wearing today and I did buy this one in Oregon and it's YSL and it is a nude. Um, that's it right there. Swatch it for you. I love it. It's a pinky nude, creamy, gorgeous, goes with everything. I use this lipstick almost every day when we were away and I did a different colored eye looks all the time and it went with everything. This exact color is number 70. Um, it's just a, a beautiful nude. I love it. I find a lot of nudes are either too dark, too gray, too peach, too pink, too something. I love this one. Really, really love it. And I love the formula. However, it doesn't last. I honestly reapplied this probably four or five times a day. So it's super expensive. Um, it's a beautiful packaging, beautiful tube. It smells delicious, gorgeous color. So I'm really, really happy with it. But like I said, the formula isn't the best as far as longevity, even though it's like a satin lipstick. And of course I bought two. Um, but one of them I might return just because the formula doesn't last. And this one in particular I tried on in the store because this, these lipsticks I've never used before and I do have a lip allergy and some I'm allergic to one mystery in, ingredient so I'm not quite sure what it is so I like to try the lipsticks on in the store rather than buying one, trying it on, being allergic to it and then they've got to throw it away. It just breaks my heart. So I used it in the store and I'm not allergic so I'm okay. And the color I bought, it's called... Melon Dior, number 59, and Dior like gold, not Dior like Christian Dior. Um, I love it. It's a pale pink. It's a very unique color. It's pale pink with gold speckles through it, and it's like frosted. It's like my inner Farrah Fawcett kind of a color. It's not for everybody. It's like a pale pink frosted 80s color. Sorry, I don't want to rip this box. Um, but I want to show you guys the color because it's so gorgeous. Now, again, it's the same formula, so it's not long lasting. It wasn't long lasting when I tried it on in the store either. And the other thing I don't like about it, even though it's a pale, pale, peachy pink with gold going through it. It's not really focusing. I don't want to swatch it because I'm probably returning it. My lips were like dark raspberry. Just after one application, it just stains your lips. Even though it's a pale pink peach, your lips are dark, dark raspberry. So I really don't like how it wears off either. And when it doesn't last very long and wears down to a dark raspberry, I don't like it. So I'm pretty sure this one's going back because it's super expensive, even though it's a very unique color and nice, but Mm, I think I'm t I bought enough. <laughs> and last but not least, another impulse buy. Um, impulse because so many YouTubers are recommending it, and it is a Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. Um, I do have the Bronze Ambition. I'm actually wearing it today to show you. And as I mentioned when I bought the Bronze Ambition, I wasn't wowed by it. I didn't find the formula exceptional or amazing. The same, I find Anastasia eyeshadows amazing. You use them and you're like, 
oh my god, this is amazing. Tom Ford eyeshadows, I know they're ridiculously expensive, but you use them and you say, okay, I know why this is so expensive. This line, I don't understand why it's so expensive. And I know YouTubers are raving about it, and here I go, I buy another one. The only reason why I bought this one is the colors are so unique. I don't have anything like this in my collection. Sorry, it's got a seal on it. But I'm on the fence, I'm thinking, oh my nuts, why did I buy this? Because I wasn't wowed by the bronze one. And then I put it down to the colors. But this one, it's just really cool tone, grays, purples, which actually look good on me. I'm surprised. Um, but I have used this tone before and I really liked them. And these colors I've never seen in any other palette. So I'm on the fence. I don't know if I should keep it. Um... I'm going to think about it. But so many YouTubers said, if you're going to buy a palette, you've got to buy this one out of the collection of the three that came out, buy this one because it's so unique. So I'm torn. <laughs> anyway, if you guys have any suggestions for me or what I should do of this natural face, I'm wearing it today. I don't know. It's okay. It's not that great. And then this... Am I wasting my time? I have so many eyeshadow palettes. I even said I'm not buying any eyeshadow palettes, but I got sucked in by this thing. You, you YouTuber beauty channels, <laughs> you're killing me. And then lastly, I have big decisions to make on my curling irons, but I'm actually going to do a whole separate video on that and explain the whole situation of what I bought and my thoughts behind it. But those are still arriving. I think I have one coming today and two, another one on Monday. So I'll do another video on that when it comes in. So anyway, I hope you guys had a fun Sephora trip or planning a fun Sephora trip or just watching the videos is even fun, just seeing what people bought and what their suggestions are and seeing new products. And I usually, if I see something interesting, then I'll put it in my loves list for later down the line, maybe for the fall sale. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please click like. And if you're new to this channel and you'd like to see more videos of mine, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to see you again. And I thank you so much for watching me today and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.